Well, lovely to meet you. Great to meet you too. It's great to be here. Now, one thing I'd like to know is, what do you miss most about Australia? Oh, I miss my family. I miss my sisters and my brother and my mom and my dad. And, um, do you get back here often? I get back, if, uh, now that I have two businesses, one is based in Perth, well, Hope. Yeah, it's based in right. Perth, and El McPherson Body is based in uh, Melbourne. So I um, I get back more than people know. Yeah, right. I'm sneaking <laughs> out of the radar because I've got quite a lot of work to do with business. But uh, I really miss my family when I'm away. Right, oh, I'll bet you do. Um, now, can you tell me how is El McPherson Body different to lingerie that you have designed and created in the past? I look for some body as a business is very different because in the past I was sort of the face of somebody else's company and I was helping them build their business. Right. And today I have a 50-50 joint venture partnership with my very um, well respected and um, capable uh, partner Simon Winter, who is just a brilliant businessman and also creates beautiful lingerie. Right. So we're 50-50 partners, we've worked on this from inception together, whether right. it be budgets, um, you know, bottom lines, strategy, marketing, merchandising, factories, uh, product development, uh, and it's been an incredibly fulfilling experience being involved in such a, a broad range of, um, of business. And I've been really lucky because between Simon and my my other partner, Andrea Bucks, who is my partner in Welco, which is also a company that I co-own and, and uh, co-created, they've both encouraged me to take on more responsibility in business and um, they've been patient with me and they've been teaching me the ropes and so it's been a really um, exciting project from a business level right. and from a, as a fulfilling fulfillment level as a woman and then as far as lingerie is concerned this is a the design aesthetic for Elma Person Body is so different from anything that's on the market ah. and anything I've ever done before because right. it is these very clean lines it's dynamic it's cool grounded in simplicity, its DNA is kind of this simple, dynamic simplicity. Um, it's well. very Australian, <laughs> Yay! Um, and uh, you know as Coco Chanel says, I don't believe in uh, forfeiting fit for fashion, Coco Chanel says true luxury is comfort and style, and I would like to think that Elma's dose of body is comfort and style. Oh yay, so we can <laughs> finally have both. Yes. <laughs> and just talking about Wellco, what encouraged you or what sort of inspired you to start that business? Well, I was I thought I had a really healthy lifestyle and actually I was feeling terrible and I went to see my nutritionist and she said to me, "Oh, you know, I know you think you're doing well, you're not. You're not sleeping, you're, you're eating too much red meat, you're um, flying around the world, you're not eating enough fruit and vegetables and you know, it's it's showing on the way you feel. It may not be showing on the scales, but you know, you're not feeling great right. yeah. and you're taking synthetic vitamins. And so we developed a, a program just for me, which was these easily absorbable plant nutrients, 45 ingredients into the body to, to hydrate the cells and to, um, to really work on the nucleus of the cell, right. to feed the nucleus of the cell. It's an alkalizing super greens. But it also has a lot of vitamin and minerals with it, and um, it's, it supports the 11 systems of the body. So I started taking this product and seeing huge changes in my life. Like I was sleeping, I stopped craving sugar, I lost weight, wow. I felt upbeat, I, my hormone balances were neutral, and I said to myself, I, I really have to share this with other women. So we created a really beautiful packaging which makes it look like it's perfume or some it kind of beauty gorgeous. packaging. Yeah. yeah. And then started to sell because you know, health foods up until today, today it was like brown rice and broken stocks. Exactly, exactly. So I wanted to do a luxury uh, wellness business and now we have other products. We have the protein powders, we have the sleep tea, I'm doing protein powder for kids. And uh, there's a lot of interesting things to do in the wellness space. But it's very similar to the lingerie in the sense that creating what the gaps, you know, creating the gaps in the market where you right. identify a gap filling it with product that you really love or that works for you. Right. And you saying that you weren't sort of feeling so great before you started the business. Was there pressure on you to sort of be the body and look great all the time? And did, do you ever feel pressure to sort of maintain that? Uh, well, no, I think as a, as a woman anyway, I want to be my best. It yeah. doesn't mean I need to look young. It just means I need to look my best. Right. So I do feel inclined to work towards that, but there's no point looking good if you don't feel good. Yeah. And 
And so, so true. You know, feeling good is really important. And actually, I found that if I feel good, even if I don't look so great, I end up looking great because that comes out and my skin glows and my face smiles and, yeah. I, and I feel confident in my skin. So I really think you've got to take a step back, work from the inside out. Lingerie is the same. What's underneath your clothing is just as important as what you put on the top because it changes your silhouette. A good bra sure. will change your body. It's that great foundation, isn't it? It's like architecture. Yeah. <laughs> um, scaffolding. Scaffolding for fashion. <laughs> um, uh, one sort of slightly bizarre question is, what's something that you would tell your 16-year-old self now if you could kind of look back? Oh, wear sunblock. Right, okay. So I came from the 70s where you snubbed yourself in baby oil and you lay out and you got as black as you possibly could. So, you know, not so great what if were we you do. I don't know. I've got like <laughs> spots all over my body that I can't get rid of. But um, that, and I guess I would probably say don't sweat the small stuff. Right. You know, it all works out in the end and if it hasn't worked out, it's not the end. Oh, I love that saying. And, um, yeah, just, just, Keep on trucking on. <laughs> you sort of have to, don't you? What is what's something in life that brings you the greatest joy? Our relationships, my children, love, um, creativity, being creative, working with great partners, uh, being able to have a dream and actual and actualize it through application of experience and tenacity and commitment and cooperation. Um, but obviously, you know, nothing beats a a kiss from one of my kids or a hug from one of my kids. Yeah, it is a bit like that. And sorry, finally, um, do you have a best kept beauty secret that you can share with us? I have a few beauty secrets. The number one, and they're all simple, seven hours sleep. Right. Improvement. Right. Three litres of water a day. Three litres. Wow. Three litres. So that's six little bottles of water. Right, okay. Um, and at least 45 minutes to an hour of movement, move your body. Fresh air, get outside, go for a walk, go for a run, go for a swim, paddleboard, do yoga, do Pilates, yeah. breathe, right? Um, those three elements are very important. And then, of course, nourishing the body, plant food, the super elixir, go online, go to welco.com, read all about it, buy products, you'll see, change your life. Yeah. And wear great lingerie, so you look good and you feel good. Love it. Thank you so very much. Good.